We got two combos I'm testing out today. This one, the reel is a minor repair job. I'm gonna throw it out with some bait on it, see how the reel handles the fish. This one is the rod repair job with the original combo reel, which is also a repair job. And uh, I'm gonna see how the, the repair I did here holds up. Oh man. Oh. Please still be recording. Yep. Damn, I wish this came with a sheath. Just from this. Surgical steel. And right down from the uh, knife is that. That skeleton of a skunk. And somebody left their worms out here. I might have used those worms too. Alright. Just gonna try it real quick. This one, stupid thing, if it's coming undone. But uh, anyway, I found a thing of night crawlers. Uh, this is my gold pin rod. Let's see if this. Let's see if I can catch anything on it. I didn't mess up. There we go. Crazy the rod bends there. And this is a pretty small cichlid. Oh, man, it looks like it's a sick one too. I don't really want to touch this one, but anyway. I got one there. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh. I hope I got that on camera. That was a good one. That was a good sized one. I it shook the hook loose. I got one. I didn't even know it. And the rod is holding up. <laughs> I felt him on there, but I wasn't sure I had him. And he, he ate half of it. Look at that. That's a fat one. A little blurry there. <laughs> so, not a very big one, but it's pretty fat for this area. He's got some weight to him. Probably weighs over a pound. Oh, come on. Just got this one, probably weighs about a pound. It's pretty fat. He actually ate my Sanko. But there you go. Ah, oh, I thought I had another one. <laughs> Fucking stick. Uh, 
They are biting now. Got another one. Oh man, this one is running. This is a good one. Oh, and he shook the Sanko loose. Come on. I don't know how these other guys do it, but they hit it, pop it off. There it goes. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one. Well, I got two fish on two Sankos, and let that one go. <laughs> this is, there wasn't anything here for a while, but it's turning out to be a pretty good spot. I just uh, finished testing out the uh, work I did here, the repair job. I uh, caught three fish on this rod. One of them I didn't even know I had. It was a small one, a little bluegill. Uh, the other two were decent sized bass, about a pound. One was probably a little over a pound, one was just at a pound, maybe a little under. Uh, so it held up well to those, it's still in good shape. It's still strong. I just wanted to add this little note. Uh, if you do repair a rod like this, you have to use a lot of that five second fix. You have to use a lot of it. So I don't know if you can see how much I used on there. And then I cured it for a long time, more than five seconds, probably like a, maybe a minute on each side. And then I let it sit for a couple of days. And then I went out and used it and it held out. Uh, I did try it before, like I fixed it. This is actually the second time I fixed it. I did it the same way both times though, but the first time I didn't use as much. And I went and it got snagged on a branch and all the five second fix just broke off. It just chipped off like super glue. So I brought it home, did it again, used a lot more this time, and uh, it worked out. I got snagged a bunch of times. I snapped the line. Uh, I got hooked on a stick that I figured the stick was stronger than the rod and the stick broke before the rod did. And I caught two decent sized bass on it. So. Uh, it held up pretty well. Uh, I'm probably the first positive review I'm doing on this this channel for a cheap item. But there you go.